How the human body will evolve in the future. One, wisdom teeth. At present time, only about 35% of humans are born without them. I am one of those. So in the future, because our faces and our jaws get smaller, we no longer have room for wisdom teeth. A lot of people, I guess, have to have them removed because they bother them. Or maybe most all people, I'm not sure. But again, I've never had them, so I don't know. And um, yeah, I think most people, to me, their faces look too big. But I'm weird. Two, race differences. In the future, our races will blend more. So everyone will look more and more alike. So no longer will we have blacks or Hispanics or Indian or Chinese or whatever. It'll just be the human race. And by that time, we'll probably be living on different planets. Three, less hair. With us, with us naked apes wearing clothes, we, over the millions of years, have lost most, if not all, our hair, except for, of course, well, I mean, there are still hairy people, I guess. Um, I don't have much hair, and I think hair is gross on the body, except for, I like, of course, I like hair on the head. I like long hair, and I like guys with beards. I like facial hair, because I'm weird, I guess. Um... But yeah, lack of hair. Hopefully that just means the body. Um, four, even smaller digestive systems. Now, if you've ever studied the evolution of the human digestive system, you'll see how it has evolved and gotten smaller and shorter. And we're no longer like these big old fat belly gorillas that sit around and eat cellulose um, all day. We, um, we evolved cooking our food, that which broke it down for us, for our digestive systems. Therefore, we spent less energy chewing and um, digesting our food, and our, our brains got bigger, and that's just the way we evolved. And that's because that's the tools that we had. We had spears for killing animals and fire for cooking. And I'm not saying that that's the only way. Um, I think our digestive systems are going to probably evolve even more. They'll get even more shorter. And um, our stomachs will get even smaller. And that's because of um, agriculture. And we'll soon have um, these high-rise buildings to grow our food in. So we'll have much more availability as far as produce. And with tools like blenders and food processors. Yeah, I mean, we could get a whole lot more nutrition probably from our, our vegetables alone. And maybe one day, probably most likely we'll no longer kill animals. We'll just have everything that we need um, produced in these high rise buildings or in factories. Um, and last, um, our sexual organs. I think just like with races blending more, I think our sex organs will start blending more. And probably men will start having shorter, smaller penises, possibly. Um, and women, possibly larger clits. Um, I mean, I know it doesn't serve really any real evolution purpose, but, you know, if we could choose, I mean, what woman would not want a larger clit? I mean, and as long as the penis is long enough, you know, to um, to penetrate, what's the purpose of having one that's super long? It makes no sense. I mean, all the nerve endings in a woman's vagina are like within the first, I think, half inch of her vagina. So it makes no sense to have a large penis. Okay, take care.